Welcome to this instructional video on the proper use of quick clot combat gauze. In this demonstration, we'll go through the correct procedure for using quick clot combat gauze to control extremity or junctional hemorrhage that is uncontrolled by direct pressure. Please note that quick clot cannot be used on thoracic or abdominal trauma, internal wounds, sucking chest wounds, exposed bowel, and eye injuries. Quick clot combat gauze is a hemostatic dressing used to control severe bleeding that cannot be managed with direct pressure alone. It works by accelerating the body's natural clotting process. Gather the necessary equipment, which includes sterile 4x4s or non-sterile if unavailable, quick clot combat gauze. First, remove any excess pooled blood from the wound cavity using 4x4s. Determine the source of significant hemorrhage within the wound. Pack the quick clot combat gauze directly onto the bleeding source. Apply constant pressure with one hand. With your other hand, grab a length of gauze of about 2-3 to three inches. The gauze should be placed underneath the hand holding pressure. Next, using the same hand to grab the gauze earlier, grab another length of gauze and repeat. Continue until the cavity is filled with gauze. Use 4x4s to wipe the remainder of the wound cavity to ensure there are no other sources of bleeding. Once the hemorrhage is controlled, pack the remainder of the quick clot combat gauze into the wound cavity. If space in the cavity remains, pack with 4x4s. Apply constant pressure over your packed wound cavity for at least 3 minutes to allow the hemostatic agent to activate. Apply your pressure dressing over the wound to maintain consistent pressure on the bleeding source. Frequently reevaluate the patient and the wound for re-bleeding. Do not remove the bandage unless bleeding continues. If needed, repeat the process to obtain hemorrhage control. A second method can be used. While holding constant pressure with one hand, grab a length of gauze of about 2-3 to three inches with your other hand. Push into the bleeding site and underneath the hand holding pressure. Alternate holding pressure with each hand as you introduce the gauze with the other. With either method, maintaining constant pinpoint pressure on the bleeding site is fundamental to the success of this procedure. Remember that placing quick clot combat gauze into a wound cavity full of blood may not allow the hemostatic chemical to be directed at the source of bleeding. Adequate wound cleanout is imperative. A fully saturated bandage may not provide adequate hemostasis, so consider replacing it if significantly saturated and hemorrhage control is not obtained. Thank you for watching this demonstration on the proper use of quick clot combat gauze.